Chicago's most watched station. This is WCCO 4 News. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Frank Vassalero. And I'm Amelia Santanello. Tonight, a Twin Cities man needs surgery after he was brutally attacked while trying to help his neighbor. I know he was mad. He was mad. He's not very big. I'm a very big man. He's not very big. He had no fear to come after. None. Bruce Pagel says that his neighbor was beating his wife. When he tried to intervene, police say that the neighbor stabbed and punched Bruce. His injuries are severe. As WCCO's James Shugel shows us, Bruce is now the one needing someone to help him. And he was at a dead run at me with a knife in his hand. There are a lot of disturbing images Bruce Pagel can recall from that November night. But only one will always stick out in his mind. <laughs> If I say I got to help her, I got to help her from being tortured any more than what was going on. He found his female neighbor with a shovel in her hands, hiding behind her shed. She had allegedly run from her husband, Sirio Ortega, who hit her during a fight. Her mouth was bleeding, her shoulder injured. I knew there was something wrong because it didn't make sense. Bruce was at home when he first heard a car alarm go on and off several times up the street. When he investigated, he found Ortega's wife. She was shaking and crying, and all I had time to say was, are you okay? And I saw her look at the front door of her house, and I turned around, and I saw him come out. He had just a pair of jeans on. Bruce ran, but Ortega caught up to him. He allegedly stabbed Bruce in his left hand and punched him several times. In fact, the knife severed a tendon, his bicep was torn, and the pain is severe. I've, I've had so many emails that I'm a hero. I'm no way a hero. I'm just a person who helped another person who needed help. Beaten and bruised, Bruce says he'd step in again, no matter the cost. Doctors told Bruce he has to have that surgery in the next week or the damage to his tendon will be permanent. Problem is, Bruce doesn't have health insurance and he's not sure how he'll pay for the estimated $5,000 surgery bill. His friends set up a fund for him and there's more information on that fund on our website, WCCO.com. Meanwhile, Senator Billy Ortega faces assault charges for hitting his wife and stabbing Bruce too.